Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today, as always, bringing you guys and gals Usho Tutora episode reviews. Today, episode 5 of Usho Tutora. If you haven't seen the episode yet, as always, you can go on Google, Bing, Yahoo, whatever search engine you use, or you can go in the link in the box below on Crunchyroll.com. If you have a subscription or a membership, or after a certain period of time, you can see it. I believe that's how it works. I don't use it, but you can use it. It's there for you. Now, this episode is actually pretty intense because it involves an exorcist from China named Hyo, and he wants to take revenge on a demon that ate his family, his wife and his daughter. And he has a scar on his face with like three claw marks. And he believes that he sees the news about Ushio and Tora, and he sees Tora, and Tora. The shadow of the demon that ate his family looks like Tora. So, based on that, he goes over to Japan. Because he believes that Tora is the one that actually killed his family. But the episode actually is surprising at the beginning. Where in which you have Ushio get like heavily wounded by Tora. Which throws you the fuck off. Because, like, wait, like, hold on a second. Like, like, they're a tag team. And they're an odd tag team. But, like, it's still a very uh, funky relationship. Where in which you have someone like Tora who genuinely still wants to eat Ushio. And he actually scratches him like he has four claw marks on his face and he's bleeding everywhere. So that kind of threw me off because I'm, I'm like, whoa, like, like Tora is like, dead serious. Like, it's amazing because episodes like two and three, the whole I'm going like, to consume you thing, it's been in, like, for the most part, it's been in like a joking manner. It really has been. But episode four, it's not it's not funny. It's like Tora's gonna eat his ass, like straight up. And he is actually analyzing Ushio. He's like, oh, I realize Ushio, when he is not one with the beast spear, he's a regular human. I can fuck him up. So like Tora is the dead ass gung ho on eating Ushio. Like, like there is no remorse, there is no if ands or buts. And this leads to Ushio making a decision that he normally wouldn't do. Because Ushio, he's an honest kid, but when Hyo comes into the picture, he basically tells Hyo, like, that demon that you want to kill, I've been having trouble, I've been having problems with him too. But Ushio knows full well that the person, the demon that ate Hyo's family wasn't Tor, because the entire time, for 500 years, he's been inside of the Aotsuki family basement. So basically, Ushio lied. And he regrets the decision. And throughout the day, as Hyo is fighting against Tora for hours on end, like, granted, they do, like, a lot of skips, and it kind of sucks in a way, because we don't get to see... Like, we get to see enough, I guess, from a fighting standpoint. But it was... Basically, what they chose to do was that instead of giving you, like, a full, like, five-minute fight scene between Hyo and Tora, they decided to show you, like, a few 30-second clips of the fight, as the fight progresses throughout the day, like for like a full-on 24-hour uh, time period, and as Ushio goes to school like a normal kid would, you have Nakamura who notices that he's depressed, and she pretty much is able. Like they haven't told her yet. Episode three, no, episode four was when Inoue first met Tora. She experienced the demons, and they haven't told Nakamura that. So, that I find kind of fascinating. Keep that shit, you know, zip tight. No secrets. And she, Nakamura, is able to actually reinvigorate Ushio to actually go out and tell the truth. But by that time, Hyo has, has been fighting against Tora for like 24 hours. And Hyo's thinking, this is the demon, I got him, I'm gonna kill him. And no. So, so after all that fighting, after all that fighting... And tore on his last legs. In comes the kid who told you it was the demon. And he says, oh no, I'm sorry, it's not the demon. So Hyo is obviously pissed. Very pissed. And he takes on his aggression on Ushio. Beats him up for a few minutes. Even has these flaming kunais that he throws at Ushio. And for the most part, Ushio actually like muscles through those flaming kunais. And he punches him right in the face. And he says, like, a few words, and then he just falls on the ground. So, Hyo has to make a decision whether or not to actually kill Ushio so he can kill Tora, 
or just walk away and continue to search for the demon, the real demon that ate his family. So it's a hard choice to make, but it's the right choice to make because these people, meaning Ushio and Tora, had nothing to do with the death of your family. So even though he's been searching for a long period of time, and he, I mean, he's been going around killing demons, or he's an exorcist, so I suppose he's exercising. He's banishing demons to hell. I don't know what the fuck they do. They do something, demons disappear, whatever. The whole thing he resists, though. He honestly believed that he found his wife's and uh, daughter's killer. And no, he did not. He came all the way to Japan. He was, he's been training for this day. And you can see on his face, like, just the smile. But it's a very twisted and demented smile. Because he's just full of that rage. And to, and come to find out that, no, no, wrong guy, false alarm. Oh, like, like just the r rage is seething over, right? So, I feel for the guy. But he had to do what was right. And Ushio, he fucked up, but he took his licks like a champ. And it is what it is. So... Ushio, you know, like, in a sense, it does have a certain degree of character development for him, honestly, it really does. Because character-wise, you would think Ushio, honest kid, you never, he would never do something like that. Like, you would never lie about someone, whether that someone be a regular person or a demon. And he wouldn't, you know, like, he wouldn't say, oh, okay, well, this demon, he's been a pain in my ass, therefore, I'm gonna basically lie about the demon so, uh, so someone else can fuck him up. No, no, no. Like, normally he wouldn't do that, because he's an honest person. But because Tora has been trying to eat him constantly, and because Tora is becoming, like, very close to actually eating him, and actually wounded him, he was pushed over the edge. But he knew that he was wrong, and he came back to, you know, the side of good, if you would. So, it's a good thing for his character development, in that sense, because it does show him that he's maturing. Like, he still has a ways to go. But he's not, like, 100% pure, you know? He's not, like, like sometimes he can be pushed in the wrong direction. And when it comes to Tora, Tora basically was saved by Ushio. But at the same time, he was in that mess because of Ushio. So, the fact of the matter is that Tora, he doesn't really, like, know that. But at the same time, he does respect the fact that Ushio did save him from Hyo. So, there are a few things that are good for their character development. And Hyo is going to be a character of note later on in the story. That's very obvious. They're setting up like that. That's as clear as day. Because Hyo needs to find that demon that, you know, aided his wife and child. And the Beast Spear tracks demons, apparently. And he believes that if he stays in Japan, the demon that killed his family will be attracted to Ushio and Tora. And therefore, he can take that opportunity to actually kill the demon and get his revenge. So, that was obviously setting the framework for Hyo's character involvement later on in the story. And for the most part, that's it. The animation was pretty damn good. The only thing that I really wanted to see was more fight scenes. The pacing, I thought, was very well paced. And overall, the episode, I think, was a good episode. So, I'm going to give it... But at the same time, it was good from those aspects. But character-wise, they, they, they did a very good job. And the intensity, I thought, was really damn good. Because Hyo was a very intense dude. Again, they skipped a lot of stuff, but he was a very intense dude. Like, when it came to those demons that, were, that ate the child in China, like, no mercy. He was gonna kill these one, like, like, these two thugs that made this little girl scream. And her father was trying to help her, obviously. He was gonna kill them on the spot, like, no mercy. So, he's also made character changes within this one episode. So... Honestly, the episode, I think, more or less was a good plus to a great episode, and I'll leave it at that. So, King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe as always, give me your thoughts, and I will see you guys, guys later. Peace, have a nice goddamn day.